Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Apart. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an extreme whole house clean with me. I've been getting lots of requests to do one of these 40 minute long videos so I thought I'd go ahead and put it out there for you guys since we're all stuck at home together. If you're not following us over on Till Vacuum Do Us Apart, definitely head on over that way and follow us there. We're starting to do a lot of lives um, just to kind of help keep you guys entertained. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel. I post two days a week over here on this cleaning channel and then twice a week over on our vlog channel. All those links are down below in my description box. But I'm gonna start off just by showing you some clips of my house. <laughs> it had gotten messy. I know it's not messy for everybody, but for us, it was super messy. I think when you think of stay at home mom, just that the house should be perfect and put together. But the more that you live in your home and the more you're hanging out there, it just tends to pile up. So I wanted to show you what my house was looking like, and then we're gonna get straight into today's video and get to cleaning. Make it last forever. Stop Okay, the only rooms I'm not gonna be working on is Savannah's bedroom, just because it is her responsibility to keep it clean. She makes her bed, she tidies up in there, and then her playroom. So she's just kinda in charge of those two areas. I will occasionally go in and do a deep clean or disinfect, but as of today, those bedrooms are good to go, so I'm not gonna touch them. But I'm gonna start off in my bedroom. I just don't feel like I can function and clean the rest of the house if my bed's not made. If you've been here for a while, you know that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started working on my bed first. I know I'll probably get questions about my outfit, so I'm gonna go ahead and address that now. My black top is just from Walmart from last year. My pants are from Ross. And then my house shoes were given to me as a gift, but they're Uggs. I love them, they keep me so warm. I actually have to kick them off occasionally just because I'll get so warm with them. And then I'm gonna go grab, we like to keep our throw pillows in our closet just because George sleeps on the ground or on the bed, but we just don't want him sleeping on them. So we definitely have to tuck those away or the boys will think it's their bed and I'm gonna pick up the blanket so when I vacuum later I can get underneath there really well that's typically where George um, sleeps but sometimes Tiger does too and then I noticed Chase had our laundry basket flipped around backwards and it was driving me crazy <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and flip that around and then I'm gonna start going through all this clutter in his closet it's definitely my Monica's closet if you guys watch friends this is like the one area nobody looks at so if I have something to hide I cream it in here and I always feel bad so I'm gonna go ahead and get his closet just kind of tidied up for him. Well, I have everything cleared out. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum in here. It doesn't get vacuumed often just because it is typically full, but I wanted to surprise him and when he opened it up, have it nice and clean. Um, so it was just nice to get that done. It's so nice working on those spaces that you either don't do it often or forget about. I'm gonna be working on a lot of those areas today and just kind of organizing. I went ahead and put that bench back in there because he likes to have it when he's picking out clothes and I'm not using it anywhere right now. So I'm just gonna leave it in there and then I'm gonna finish up my bedroom by vacuuming and then this room is good to go. Sure 
anytime I show that fireplace, I always get lots and lots of questions. So we found that at Big Lots many years ago and the stone was actually more like gray, but I painted it to kind of blend in. And then I took out like the fake insert and just added real wood. So that's where that fireplace came from. I can't link it. Um, they have a newer version of it that you could do the same thing to, but I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And then I'm gonna show you some clips of how my room turned out. Now I'm gonna head in to my beauty room slash office. So I pretty much live in this room. <laughs> I only sleep in my bedroom and then the most of my days are spent in here either getting ready or working. Um, you guys have seen me organize these drawers before and I just needed to maintain them a little bit. I didn't do so much of decluttering because I had already done that in a previous video, but they had gotten out of control. So I was just gonna go ahead and reorganize them a little bit. If you'll do this before it gets too crazy, then it won't take long. So that's why I like to just do it when I can tell I'm getting unorganized. So I went ahead and just grabbed my vacuum. Lots of hair gets in these drawers just cause I get ready right here. So I'm just gonna vacuum it out and then put all my stuff back in. So I like to keep some of my overflow bottles in my desk drawer. I keep some of those drawers just for my beauty products and I had brought up my dry shampoo. Um, just with all this going on, I didn't wanna run out and I go through that stuff a whole lot. So I had that extra bottle. So I just put it over in the drawer. That's also where I keep like my blow dryer, my curling wand, um, my straightener. So like all those products that you don't see in these drawers are over there in my desk drawer. And if I need it, I just walk over and get it. This is mainly stuff that I just use every single day. So so um, this is all my hair stuff, um, like I said, dry shampoo, hairspray, um, detangler, rubber bands, hairbrushes, stuff that I literally touch every single day. And then next you're gonna see me work on my other drawer, which is my makeup drawer. But first I'm gonna show you how this drawer turned out. Okay, as you can see, this one's holding up pretty well since I only have four dividers. You know, I have brushes, makeup, and then base, and then tools. So I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit, but it did not take long at all. So I'm super happy with the way this one's working with storage. Now I just need to get my other drawer to do the same. So I'm just gonna real quickly just kind of move a few things in here and then I'll be done. I wasn't planning on vacuuming all of this, but since I already had it out and I could just see all like the loose hair, I wanted to go ahead and vacuum. So I'm gonna work on my vanity. I'm gonna go ahead and get in that drawer a little bit because I forgot to. I'm gonna do the little stool that I sit on. I've never actually vacuumed this. It holds up really well, but I thought, hey, why not? I'll just get all of that off just from like my powder and makeup and loose hair. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and work on my shoe shelf. Um, I love that shoe wall. If you guys are curious, it's just four different shelves from Walmart and they're around $30 each, I wanna say. I'll try to remember to link them down below in my description box. And I just put my shoes in them. So like I said, there's four. So they're just stacked next to each other and then on top of each other, but they do get a little dusty. So I'm gonna have to just make a point to dust them out, but it went by super quick. I just used my vacuum and it cleaned it up really well.
also decided to go over like on my mannequin where I keep Pearl, my wedding dress, and just kind of vacuum her off. You guys always ask me how I keep her clean. She just does not get dirty. I don't know why because the shelves right next to her get dusty. Maybe it just doesn't show. I probably need to shake her out occasionally, but that white dress holds up really well and I think it's because it's not like a pure white. It's got a little bit of a cream to it. You can tell by just like with my white desk next to it. I went ahead and grabbed my Jaws cleaner just so I could go ahead and wipe all of this down. I will say this is one of the rooms that gets the most dusty. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because my makeup. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to go ahead and wipe this piece down and then I'm going to go over to my desk area and wipe that area down as well too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my bathroom. My bathrooms have definitely taken a back seat lately. I've been really good about disinfecting but not about actually like deep cleaning. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss my hand towel in there. I like to change those out once a day if not more. And then I'm just gonna grab my Dollar Tree cleaner. You guys always ask me what I use in here. I love the Dollar Tree cleaner because I love the foam. I love having just the foam spray and it kind of like bubbling up. I feel like it makes it a lot easier to clean. I feel like it breaks down anything that's like in my sink or on my countertops. And then that is a Dollar Tree sponge that I just cut in half and I leave all those products underneath my sinks. So anytime I need to clean, it's right there. I don't have to go hunt it down. It's easy to find. Then if my husband wants to clean or my daughter, they know exactly where to find um, the stuff they need. So that's why I keep them underneath all my sinks. work on my mirror. Um, I either keep jaws underneath my counter or this is also just the um, Dollar Tree vinegar like window cleaner. I feel like it works really well but if you don't like the smell of vinegar you're not gonna like it. I don't mind using it back here in this bathroom because it's so far back in my house and it does fade quickly but I know a lot of people have tried it and didn't like it just because of the smell. So there's your fair warning. And then I use the same rag, that's my e-cloth polishing rag to wipe it down. And then I like to do my faucet as well, just cause it's shiny and it makes it streak free and shine, which looks so pretty when you come into the bathroom. And I will say the bathrooms are just the hardest room for me to get like motivated to clean, but they are also the most rewarding room to clean. I feel like you just see a difference, you smell the difference, they're shiny. So it's definitely worth that extra effort. I need to do it more often. And then once I'm done wiping all of that down, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fresh hand towel, which I think makes a huge difference. Lately, I've been going ahead and replacing these once a day just to make sure everything's nice and clean and fresh. And then I wanted to work on my toilet paper, so I'm gonna grab some extra rolls down and then I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping these. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quickly. If 
if you stay tuned just a little bit longer, I'll show you what those look like when it's finished. I guess I forgot to show you right there. But first, I'm going to head back into my room and grab my vacuum so I can get these floors done. I just don't feel like a room is completely clean until they have vacuum lines. So to me, this is like the calming part. I feel like cleaning a bathroom and bedrooms can't be that enjoyable, but just getting the vacuum and making the lines is very calming to me. So this is what kind of just gives me a break before I go on to the next space. I belong, I belong to you Take me to your soul I will say I cleaned this area of my carpet a little bit longer than normal because my dogs were really playing with the vacuum and we've all been stuck inside because it's been raining so much. So I was trying to get some energy out of them. But here's some clips of how the room turned out and the bathroom and you'll see what the toilet paper stamping looks like here. I mentioned that Chase's closet was like a catch-all space for me. My laundry room is as well because I can throw stuff in there and shut the door. I don't think anybody ever asked to like see your laundry room when they come over and I don't know why. I don't know. Nobody's coming into my house right now anyways, <laughs> but I still want to go ahead and just get everything clean for my sake. And I will say once I was done cleaning all of this stuff and I walked through my house, it was so calming just to see all the spaces back how they're like supposed to be. So I'm just hanging up laundry that I had out air drying. I'm going to take everything in the dryer and put that in the laundry basket, but I'm going to save that for like the end of the video. I don't want to work on it yet, but you're just going to see me go from space to space. This area was a little out of control for just what a small room it was. So I'm just kind of putting everything back in its home and I'm giving George that Troy. If you saw it, it was like purple. You're going to see him with it the rest of the video. He did not want to put it down. So these cabinets stay pretty organized for the most part because it's mainly just tubs. But this bottom shelf I have created for the boys just because since George came in, we're doing a lot more treats and we have a lot more cleaners and just things like that that we didn't have to have with Tiger. And it had gotten out of control and just kind of crammed in there. Chase had been helping me, Savannah had grabbed stuff. So I just rearranged it a little bit back to how I used to have it. Like I said, it does not take long to do things like that, but you feel so much better when it is. Like it literally took me less than three minutes. I should have done that a long time ago. But now I'm gonna work on the floors in here. It's been a while, so I'm just gonna shake out the rug, pull up anything that's on the ground, and then give it a good vacuum.
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and mop. You guys always wanna see me use um, my e-cloth mop on like tile and I never really do it. Angles are just really hard because we only have tile like in our bathroom and laundry room where it's like super hard to film in because they're small spaces. But like you can see, it works really well on tile. Um, I do have a link right now and a promo code for you guys. So if you're interested in something like this, it just clean and sanitizes with water only, which I love. So I'll have that down below in my description box. But now that I'm done mopping, I'm just gonna put everything back and then this room is done. I'm gonna show you some clips as well. It's just so rewarding to see you like clean a space and then it just be nice and new and fresh. We make our but thrill of it mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now. Let's head on into the kitchen. As you can see, it's not like destroyed, it's not horrible, but it does have items that need to be put away. We'd had breakfast and lunch, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start tidying up and putting everything that's out back into its home. Okay, I am about to unload my dishwasher, but I wanted to go ahead and give my hands a quick scrub real quickly. I did wash these longer, but I sped this up, but you should always be super careful when you're unloading your dishwasher anyways, but even more so right now, I'm trying to wash my hands before I do anything and everything. Um, my dishwasher doesn't seem completely full, but I had caught Chase in here. He was trying to unload it for me, and I was like, no, 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 I have a video. So I had more in there. I'm trying to make sure everything that I'm doing, I'm running a full load. Um, just so if I'm gonna use like my cascade or my laundry detergent I'm trying to make everything last as long as I possibly can right now so we don't have to get out to go buy more so everything is full loads right now I'm not running anything unless it's full um, I also wanted to let you guys know that my church is hosting a church online they do this all the time but right now we can't even go into our church buildings you can watch it here on YouTube and so I'm gonna leave that link down below in my description box they're about 30 minutes long totally worth worth it. But if you're like me and love the praise and worship, I'm going to leave my church website and it'll take you straight to um, this week's message. And it will also have the praise and worship in the beginning, which I highly suggest. I love my church's music. You guys always love when I share it. So I'm going to leave both of those links down below in my description box. My sink isn't completely full, but I am gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher just with everything that is in my sink so that my house can stay clean today. When you unload your dishwasher, then you don't have to just fill up your sink throughout the day. It can just go straight to the dishwasher. Um, you guys have kids home at now, your husband may be home with you. So if you just make these little tweaks, then your house won't get insane. Just tell them when they're done with the dish, just rinse it out and they can load the dishwasher and then you can run it that night or the next day or whenever it gets full. But definitely use your family to help you. They live there and so they can help you. Now we have a lot of these Yeti cups that we've been drinking out of. Not all of them are Yeti, but you guys know what I mean. They just help keep your drink really cold or hot. Um, you're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher. Sometimes I do and they hold up fine, but if I have the time to hand wash, I'll go ahead and do it. So that's what I'm gonna work on now, just to hand wash them and then let them air dry. You could tell that cup was being stubborn. It did not want me to open it, but I finally got it. But like I said, I'm just gonna work on that. And then we have been making smoothies every single day for months now and loving them. So I'm gonna hand wash our little blender and let that air dry as well.
So I like to use that drying mat when I'm hand washing dishes. I used to never have one. I would just throw it on a towel, but I feel like it really does help your stuff to dry quicker and then it dries out way faster than like a towel would. So if you guys don't have one of those, definitely check it out. You know, Ross has them. Mine's from Walmart. They're also on Amazon. I had one just like this in my Amazon store that you can check out. They're super affordable and I feel like they're just really helpful to have. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub out my sink real quick too, just because we had all those dirty dishes in there and there was some of like the smoothie left had spilled out in there and I just don't want it to smell or get the sink super dirty. So I just feel like if you wash things immediately, it's still like soft and easy to clean out. But if I were to let that sit all day, it would like dry on it and you'd have to scrub it a lot more. And then I went ahead and decided to spray a cleaner. I normally do like a Windex type window cleaner. Somebody had told me to do my Jaws granite cleaner in my stainless steel sink. It was amazing and it smelled so good in there. So if you haven't tried that out yet and you have that cleaner, try it because I loved it. And then I'm gonna um, go ahead and get my disinfectant wipes. I don't use these all the time on my counter, but just with everything going on, I've been using them a whole lot more than just a normal cleaner. Definitely not every time. I wipe my counters down probably three to four times a day but once a day I like to go ahead just go around and disinfect them Okay, I've been trying to pay really close attention to this island because we eat here, we do crafts here, and I'm really bad about when we get groceries, I come straight in and set the bags up here on my island just because it's easy to sort through and put things away. Not that we're getting groceries like every single day, but I just wanna know when we eat up here or whatever we're doing, it's nice and safe and disinfectant. Um, I either use these wipes or my Jaws cleaner. If you guys aren't able to get your hands on um, a disinfectant in your store, Jaws still has theirs available online I have a link and a promo code down below in my description box um, so if you need to buy that definitely check that out I wanted to let you guys know that then I'm gonna grab my jaws like hard wood cleaner and I'm gonna head into my dining room and clean off my table it had also been a while since I'd like vacuum this rug completely. I'll just go like around the chairs and under them, but I haven't like removed them off the rug. So I thought, okay, we're doing a deep clean. Let's go ahead and do this. So I pulled off all those chairs and then while they're pulled out, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my table first, just in case there's any crumbs or anything that fall on the ground. It's okay, cause I'm about to vacuum anyways. So I love like clusters of candlesticks, but I wanted to let you guys know if you can't like afford a set, they don't have to be matching. Um, two of these came from a garage sale and the other two came from Goodwill and I just spray painted them to match. So if you, I know none of us can like get out shopping right now, but if you can find candlesticks throughout your house, even if all four of them or six of them don't match, do that. You probably have a can of spray paint somewhere, spray paint those and then you'll have new decor for super cheap. And then it just means more to you because because they're not just fresh out of a box. So I just thought that would be a fun tip if you're like bored at home and wanna decorate but can't go shopping, that's a way you can do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, I went to put these chairs back and realized they had so many crumbs like down there in the crease. I had never noticed that. And I'm good about vacuuming these with like a pet tool, but I never like have my skinny narrow one to get down in that crease. So I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and work on that today. I was super embarrassed. I'm like, I hope guests haven't come over in the past and it had been that bad. I hadn't even noticed. And just like that, once again, it just takes a few seconds to get it done. So if you're still like spring cleaning, that's another good place just to check because I hadn't even thought about it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put that cleaner back up and I'm gonna go put my vacuum away on the charger just in case I need it. It can be charging. And then I'm gonna come back in here and just hand dry all of these. I could let it air dry and put them away this evening, but I just want the house spotless. So I'm just gonna towel dry them and put everything away. The things I planned, the things I would say now I get rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. And here is how my kitchen and dining room all turned out once I was finished cleaning it. Now we're gonna head into my daughter's bathroom. This bathroom stays clean for the most part. She's really good about cleaning up after herself. We always encourage that around here. Like we all live here so we can all help out. I also ask her to clean it once a week and just whenever she wants to. Um, but I like to go in and clean it other days just so it doesn't build up and it's easier for her to clean. So while she's learning to clean her own bathroom, it's not like destroyed. And so I'm just teaching her if somebody's always in there cleaning it, it never gets too bad. And so it helps me because she's touching it every day and once a week doing it a deep clean, I'm helping her. I don't know, it's just a good teamwork and it's a good way for kids to learn how to clean because she is gonna grow up and be a wife and a mom probably one day even if not she's gonna live in a place and need to know how to clean her bathroom so we're just kind of working on that now and teaching her how to do it Her mirror is another area I really like to clean for her just because I know it's hard when you're shorter to reach that and I feel like it stays pretty clean so I don't know if she's cleaning it too. I never like watch her. I don't want to make her nervous and it always looks clean so I don't ask questions. I just say I'm proud of you. Thank you for cleaning your bathroom but I know it's got to be hard to get to as a kid so I just make sure those areas are nice and clean and just those finishing details. And then I'm also gonna switch out her hand towel as well. We are changing those very, very often. And then I'm gonna show you a quick look at how her bathroom turned out. Now I'm gonna head into my living room where the boys like to play. They think this sectional is their jungle gym. You probably saw that in the very beginning of my video with them jumping up there. So I'm just gonna go around and fluff up all those cushions and kind of get them where they belong. If you can see, George is down there. He still has that purple toy. He will not let Tiger near it <laughs> and he is guarding it with his life. And then I'm gonna run and grab my vacuum. Since George is losing his puppy coat right now, I vacuum this often just because I wear black. It's not that people are coming over, it's that I don't wanna look white. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna work on this real fast. Okay. 
Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and vacuum off this chair. It doesn't really get fur on it or dirty whatsoever. Most people don't even sit here, but I thought, hey, I have the vacuum out. I might as well go ahead and work on it. And then after this, I'm gonna be showing you, you guys saw into this drawer recently, but it's where I keep all of my like young living oils. It had just gotten messy. It's not completely out of control. It just needs a few minutes of touching up. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that real quickly. I do like to keep a bottle of water in there so I'm not having to walk back and forth every time I need water. Sometimes I keep two bottle waters in there, but I just feel like that's a simple trick. So I'm just standing up all these bottles that had fallen over. I'm gonna kind of pick up the remotes and then it's good to go. Lives outside of status quo I'm gonna grab my vacuum and just kind of work on this rug in here so we recently got like a robo vac and it's keeping my wood floors so much cleaner it goes on rugs too but I just feel like I'm mainly using it for wood floors I'm not vacuuming near as often as I used to super excited about it I do have a promo code for them too I think it's so good so I'll leave their link and um, code down below as well, just in case you're in the market. If you have your family at home, you may need the help. It's like a little higher end made. <laughs> I absolutely love it. But here's how the living room turned out. As you can see, George is sound asleep, but he still has his purple toy. I head on to my last chore of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and mop my floors real quickly. I just feel like our houses feel and look so much cleaner when this is done. Once again, I'm just using that same e-cloth mop. It only needs water, which I love, so it's so easy and simple to do. Um, so I'm just gonna work on all my hardwood floors right now. As you can see, Chase helped me film this part, um, so I didn't have to keep moving my camera, so a big shout out to him, <laughs> thank you. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of like angles and him like filming me clean. I don't know if it's just something different since you guys always see us just with like cameras set down. Um, if you guys like this style, let me know because I can put more of this like within my videos. I don't wanna waste my time. Okay, and now I'm gonna finish up just by folding this whole load of laundry and then I am going to be done for the day. It feels so good to have an entirely clean house. Just a reminder, if your family is home, put them to work, they can help you, give them each a task or a chore, make them a chore list just of something they need to do every day before they have screen time or something like that. Everybody can pitch in and help out and it'll make life so much easier. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it to the end of this, I am super impressed. Thank you so much. Definitely let me know down below in the comments section if you liked long videos like this. Obviously, I can't do it 
all the time just because my house is not always this dirty but I'm happy to throw them in once or twice a month so thanks again for hanging out with me if you're new I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel I have the best group of women here um, I love them so much it's just a place of positivity and I just love sharing my life with you guys we also have a vlog channel so you guys can follow that as well I have the link down below in my description box but stay safe stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.